Hey guys, welcome to part two of the office makeover project. In part one, I showed you guys how to install some ordinary base cabinetry. Um, I got these two base cabinets from Home Depot. So I showed you guys how to install those cabinets and also make your own countertops and desk. So that's in part one. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. In part two, I'm going to be building and installing my own bookshelves. And then I'm going to finish off the built-ins with some nice trim. I'm going to do some caulking and sanding and filling all the little nail holes and everything to make sure everything is nice and clean and seamless and ready for paint. So I've never made my own bookshelves before, but it actually wasn't too hard. And I'm really happy that I decided to do it myself instead of try and order some custom bookshelves that would have been way too expensive. So I keep looking over here because the built-ins are done and you guys can't see it yet. <laughs> but without further ado, here is Office Makeover Part 2. Step 1. Install trim on desk and cabinet countertops. To trim out the 3 quarter inch plywood countertop and desktop, I used 1 and a half inch by 3 quarter inch poplar boards. I cut the boards down to 1 inch by 3 quarter inch so my trim wasn't as thick. For the cabinet countertop trim, I cut the corners at 45 degrees, then attached the trim using wood glue and 1 and a half inch brad nails. Measure and cut a straight trim piece for the desktop. Attach using wood glue and brad nails. Step 2. Install shoe trim. Measure the bottom of your cabinets and install the shoe trim on each side. Cut the trim at a 45 degree angle so the corners meet perfectly. Secure the shoe trim using wood glue and 1 inch brad nails. Step 3. Build and install bookshelves. I bought all of the lumber at Home Depot for the bookshelves and I had them cut all the big pieces for me so I could fit it into my SUV. The smaller shelf pieces I cut at home with a circle saw. I ended up needing 4 sheets of poplar 3 quarter inch plywood. If you want your bookshelves to be the same size as mine to fit exactly on the base cabinet, use the cut list that I provided. My bookshelf total dimensions are 37 and a half inches by 12 inches without trim. Lay out your lumber and mark where all the pocket holes need to be. For each of the shelves and top piece, you'll need to drill two pocket holes on each side and two pocket holes along the back. Check out this picture.
You will need pocket holes in the back side of your back bookshelf piece. Put four to five pocket holes in each side of your back piece. On your back piece, measure where you want each of the shelves to be and mark a 3 quarter inch gap with your pencil and speed square. Make sure they're evenly spaced. First, assemble the side pieces with 1 and a quarter inch pocket screws and wood glue. It's best to have someone help you hold the large back piece up. Then assemble the shelves with one and a quarter inch pocket screws and wood glue. Make sure your shelf measurement is the same at the bottom and the top so your shelves are straight and level. Before installing your bookshelves, find out where the studs are so you can screw your bookshelves into the studs. Put your bookshelves in place, drill holes where your screws need to go, then secure your bookshelves to the wall using 2 inch screws. Try and countersink your screws so you can fill in the hole with wood filler and paint over later. Step 4. Install trim on bookshelves. I used 1.5 inch poplar boards for my bookshelf trim. I started by measuring the vertical trim going from the bottom of the cabinet all the way to the ceiling. Cut these trim pieces and attach to your bookshelf using wood glue and one and a half inch brad nails. Next, go in and measure and cut each horizontal shelf piece and apply a one and a half inch trim piece. I centered my trim piece with the shelf so that my shelf has a little lip to push my books up against. After the bookshelves were trimmed out, I bought this molding to put along the entire top of the bookshelf and wall. Make sure to cut your corners at a 45 degree angle like the picture here. Install the top molding with brad nails. Step 5. Fill nail holes and gaps. 
Use wood filler and a putty knife to fill in all nail holes and gaps in your wood. Step 6. Sand. Use your orbital hand sander to sand every surface of your wood. Start with a rough grit sandpaper and move to a fine grit until everything is nice and smooth. Step 7. Caulk seams. Before caulking, make sure to clean up the bookshelves as much as possible. Go along and caulk every seam with paintable caulk. I find it best to put a small bead along the seam, then go along with my wet finger or a wet rag to make a nice clean line. Check out my next video where I add some final touches and reveal the finished built-ins.